Everybody, this is your boy Sherry Speaks. Let's get right into it. The Flash, season six, episode twelve. A girl named Sue, and I hope you guys had a great day as well. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. All right, so we start off. Uh, Ralph basically tracks down, you know, the very last dead ends to find Sue, right? And uh, to find Sue Dearborn, you know, the missing in the missing persons case. He he finds her at a CDS apartment, and then the apartment building explodes. Thanks to her, John. Thanks to her ex, John Loring. Turns out he's a murderer. He's been trying to kill her ever since. And we find out the reason for that being is because she's a thief. He possibly wants to kill her just then that way he can collect her cut. Now she's been looking for a diamond actually, and it has some information on you know the Black Hole Association, uh, those hidden assassins. Ultraviolet intervenes and actually even attacks Ralph and Sue. Now mind you. This is after they rob, you know, and find the safety deposit box with John's uh, safety key. Because they were trying to look for John's ledger, but, you know, him and his goons showed up. They beat the crap out of Rolf, you know, and then also he had to he had to deal with that whole thing. And then actually, when they, it's when they get the safety deposit box that Sue actually knocks Rolf out. And that's when she reveals that she's a thief. And that's when she says, look, I won't tell anyone your secret unless you don't tell anyone that I'm a thief. Obviously, you know... Ralph is pissed off because, you know, he thought he could trust her. They had a bit of a moment. Now, mind you, before all this happens, as, you know, Ralph is trying to find Sue as they get off and get away from that apartment, they go to Jitters, you know, Cecile's there. She says that you guys are very compatible. And I guess Cecile left her the part that they were actually going to be going off to like a rough start at the very end. But I think also Sue could be playing the part, playing the mole, so to speak, to try to take down the Black Hole Association herself. Maybe that's why she went missing, along with, in conjunction with her ex, trying to kill her and whatnot. Now, in the very beginning of the episode, you know, Iris actually meets Eva McCulloch. You know, the, she, she reveals that she's been trapped in the mirror dimension ever since the particle accelerator happened in Central City. And that the reason why she's able to see Central City is because that's where, that's what the mirror coincides with. That, that's the mirror dimension. It's a part of Central City. And Iris talks about how they defeated Sam So and how they got out of the mirror dimension. They used liquid nitrogen. That didn't work. And instead, the mirror fell into pieces. And, uh, Eva has the power to actually put the mirror back together. That's how Iris is able to see that Barry was still, in, you know, being friendly with the fake Iris. But then Barry starts to get a little bit of curious. He starts to feel that things are a little off because, you know, Iris, the fake Iris asks for the mirror gun in Star Labs. Nash was there too, but he was was actually distracted. But Barry gives her the gun anyway because he feels like she would only, she would he trusts her to do good with the very gun. But the thing is, I'm really wondering when the hell is Iris going to get out this damn mirror. Obviously, it's good that they're actually extending this out to over two episodes so far. It's going really good for, you know, the character Iris to get herself out of there because Eva doesn't know how to use her power. So so Iris promised her that she, that she would actually help her, you know, use her powers, you know, trying to use her powers. And I think that's where the, 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 the betrayal is actually going to come through. Next week, we get uh, Gorilla Grodd back in the mix. I love seeing Gorilla Grodd. Honestly, I really do. Great character. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below, man. This has been your boy Chase. I love you guys. Peace and love.